Hey everyone, today I'm gonna go through how you can set up a pretty massive bass tone using the Dark Glass plugin from Neural DSP. So here is my Logic project that I've got going. I'm working on a song um, as of now. So the song is not finished. Uh, there are some spare parts or some some pieces here in the graveyard that are not being shown yet. So um, this is basically what it looks like when I'm tracking a song. And uh, here's the bass track. Normally when I track bass, or I should say before getting this plugin, I used to track uh, through the Dark Glass B7K. And that was my go-to preamp for my bass tone and it has been for about five years now. Uh, so I'm really excited about this plugin. So anyways, uh, on this bass channel, I've got the Dark Glass plugin. I've got the Pulse Impulse Loader from Rosen Digital Audio. It's a free plugin that allows you to load in uh, impulse responses. Uh, and then I've got the Logic Compressor here going, actually. Uh, and I've actually set it for the electric bass uh, preset, and then I've changed to the vintage Opto uh, compressor because I found it sounded better. <laughs> Uh, sounds a bit like a caveman, but that's that's uh, how I roll sometimes. Anyways, um, the drums are Superior Drummer and all the guitar tones are done using Helix Native. Uh, anyways, back to the bass. So, without any plugins, here's what the bass sounds like. So it's a pretty nasty tone already. It's the Yamaha Attitude uh, Limited 3 Billy Sheehan signature model. I'm hitting it pretty hard, so the dynamic range is pretty much all over the place, so that's why I need a compressor. Uh, I should probably work on that. Uh, anyways, uh, so the Dark Glass plugin from NerdDSP has just been updated, uh, and they've added uh, quite a few presets from some great players and some great producers. And uh, I actually just loaded in the Alex Webster uh, preset. I'm a huge fan of Alex Webster and his playing, uh, and I really enjoy his tone. So I loaded in his preset, and uh, it was pretty much good to go right from the get go. I can show you, I'm gonna engage the impulse loader and the compressor as well. So here's what the bass sounds like with these little things on it. Without and with, so I'm gonna disengage the compressor and the impulse loader now so you can hear what it sounds like. So it's a bit nastier without the impulse loader, which smooths out some of the high end. So, um Engage that again. So anyways, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, unsolo the track and I'm gonna go through some of the presets that uh, the plugin comes with in, so you can hear them, hear them in the full mix. So here we go. I'm gonna start off with the Alex Webster preset and uh, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna disengage the compressor and the impulse loader just uh, to begin with so you can hear what it does in the full mix. So here is the Alex Webster preset uh, in the full mix. Here we go. And now with the impulse loader and the compressor Here's what you get then. Uh, so the low end gets a bit bigger and the dynamics get a bit more controlled using a compressor, uh, as you might know. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna go through the different presets that the plugin comes with so you can hear what they sound like in the full mix. So, I'm gonna start off with the Edermin Amilovic uh, Distortion 1 B7K Ultra. So here's what that sounds like in the full mix. Here we go.
So there you have it. I really enjoyed the Alex Webster preset, to be honest with you. Uh, it really fits my style and the tone that I'm after. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna set everything at noon and I'm gonna go through the song again and I'm gonna tweak the tone out uh, as it's playing. Okay, here we go. Um, so I don't know where I went with that. Uh, one thing that you probably notice is that the low mids really help the bass cut in a track like this. Um, one thing that you can keep in mind if you find that you don't have enough bass in your bass tone is that don't go for the bass knob as much. Go for the blend knob, dial back some of the blend and uh, you'll find that you get a lot more bass in your tone uh, from the clean one. So the Darkless Ultra plugin from Neural DSP has really helped me with my workflow and I really enjoy using it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video of mine and if you liked it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and go through all of those nice hoops that you need to go through these days to get notifications. I think you know what I mean. So I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.